Hey YouTube, this is a Simple Electronics Dude here and it has been a ridiculous amount of times I posted the last video. Um, but I just finished my latest project and I want to show you guys. What this is is a seven or a four digit seven segment LED display and it is powered by an AT Tiny 85, not an Arduino. Um, AT Tiny 85. Now I found I found several different videos out there for the Arduino. Now, I know you can use all uh, the Arduino. You don't need to use a shift resistor, um, but I wanted to use a shift resistor and AT Tiny 85 because a shift resistor only uses three pins to to run in. Okay, AT Tiny has five pins, so that leaves me two pins left to run the four grounds. So I had a interesting way to find a solution um and here it is um it's a hot mess <laughs> and it's just counting up it's all it's done right now um but let me get you the diagram so this little drawing i have right here uh, here's the seven segment here's the shift resistor here's the at tiny and what the beauty of this thing is that uh it only takes uh two pmps i use the 3906 and it uses four npns the 3904 um you know of course the two pins over here are hooked to the ground no big deal or they send a, a low signal well the high signal comes over here to this npn first which is hooked to uh positive so when i turn this to high it sends a positive signal through an led to the second npn's uh, base which then turns this guy on this guy's uh, Collector is hooked up to a ground when so when this turns on it turns this guy on and then sends the uh, ground signal to the uh, PMP which actually boosts the signal because this will work with just the two MPNs as long as you have the LED This will work, but however the uh, the one of the segments is so faint it doesn't like it's really on so i added the um, pnp to help boost that ground signal and it works so then with the two of them the two npns or four, four npns two pmps two leds uh four 180 ohm resistors for the ground and this sucker works um the shift resistor um i only use seven of the eight because i don't use the nine pin of the four segment because the nine pin controls that stupid little dot in the center. I don't like that, so I don't use it. But other than that, I just felt as though I had to build it. And because I wanted to use this four segment or four digit seven segment for an escape room, you know, for a counter or display uh, a combination to a lock or to the code of a phone, whatever. But I didn't want to use an Arduino. I wanted to use the less pins, less materials possible, and I've been all over YouTube trying to find a four-digit, seven-second LED display with AT Tiny 5. And I found some. Some have multiple AT Tinies. Some have multiple uh, shift resistors, and it is just some of them are just chaotic. And I'm, I don't know. So I want to build it. Uh, once I finally finished it. I felt as though I had to share it with you guys. So here is the diagram. Uh, if you want any more information, I'm going to go over the code a little bit. Just uh, shoot me a comment. All right, let's go over the code. Okay, and uh, here's the code. As you can see in the uh, the first one, it's a data pin, which is connected to pin 2, the IT tiny. Uh, then you have the latch pin, pin 1, clock pin, pin 3. Now I have the D1, which is digital uh, for the second seven segment. You have digital one, digital two, digital three, digital four. Okay. So now I have the delay counter, which, which is in microseconds, so it's 300. Then I have counter one, two, three, and four. Okay, for the four digits. Uh, then I have four um, arrays for the four digits. And it goes through the 16, 18, 93, 85, 51, 103, 111, 82, 127, and 115. This is actually 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So then it just goes through it. So then I 
set the uh, the latch data and clock to output, and then I loop it. So I for loop it as unit, you know, int i equals zero, i is less than 10 because of 10 digits zero through nine, i plus plus. So then you shift out the data pin, the clock pin, the LSB first, and then the num, num one, which is right here, the counter, which is counter zero, which will bring up the 126, so that it shows it as a four output, and then three input, so that the three is actually um, receiving instead of sending. So then four is high, okay? And then the latch pin is all low. So what it does, it's going through this really fast. It goes to reset, which comes down here. It delays it by 300 microseconds, and it sets the latch pins to high, okay? And then it goes through this, counter four plus plus. So if it's if four equals 10, which is digit four, it goes to zero, and then it adds one to the three, making it 10. And then when it gets to 19, it gets to 20, all the way to 99. Then when it gets to 99, it gets to 100. When it gets to 999, it goes to 1000. And then when it gets to 9999, it reverts back to 0000. zero, zero, zero. So all this does, it turns one uh, digit on at a time, even though it looks like all four are on, it's actually going through this at 300 milliseconds, but it's delaying it, so then it turns that digit on at a time, and this is how I was able to get the four-digit seven-second LED display with an AT Tiny 85. All right, thank you, and have a great day.